this tiny lens is made for low light CCTV cameras. It comes with a C mount because it's a universal mount for security cameras. C mount cameras you typically find inside of a commercial establishment like a bank or a supermarket or even a convenience store. And the big reason was because you could change out the lenses on the front to get you exactly the zoom and the detail that you want. Once you get a lens on one of these cameras, it actually turns out to be a lot bigger. Um, you see you get the, the lens up front here. Okay. So it, it just does fit once you've got that on there. It looks like a toy compared to other lenses, but it's still really impressive. The lens itself is very cheap, and with a simple adapter, you can use it on any mirrorless camera. But before showing you how the image quality looks like, I have a quick message for you. I am planning to do a group trip and do an experimental photography workshop in 2022. There will be room for 20 people, so if you want to travel with me in a place like Iceland, then fill the survey in the description. This will be an incredible opportunity to create some stunning images and learn new techniques. The link to the survey is in the description. Let's make this trip happen. Once you adapt the lens on your mirrorless camera, you need to remember that it will not cover full frame, but it will work perfectly on APS-C. It's a manual lens that is very small, making focusing a bit difficult, but it's not impossible. It has a clickless aperture with 12 blades that create a perfect circle as you step down. The lens wide open has a strong field curvature, making the border of the image blurry, but the lens retains sharpness in the center. I think it actually gives character to this lens, but if you don't like it, this issue can be resolved by stopping down. With close-ups, the bokeh is smooth and kinda dreamy. Wide open and on a regular range, the bokeh turns swirly. It may be the cheapest option out there to play with the swirly bokeh. The Fujian 35mm f1.7 is a fun lens and for the price, I would certainly recommend it. Don't forget to fill out the survey if you want to travel with me and do some cool experiments. If you enjoyed this review, you should check my video about using cinema projector lenses on a full frame camera.